So today I'm going to be attempting to remodel this base game home on a $10,000 budget. What I'm going to try to do to keep the cost low is like with the windows, instead of changing some of them out, I might just paint them a different color. Um, or like with the kitchen, I might use these cabinets again, a different color, use those tables, some of these tables, some of the paint. I might just keep those or change the color of them. Or the floors, like these floors look like they're in good condition. I might keep these or I might change them if I have enough money. But I am going to be trying to do this on, on under a $10,000 budget. And I'm going to make most of this money back by selling the items that they already have inside of this home. So like the kitchen cabinets, the tables, all that stuff. I'll probably be able to get up to twenty to 25000 by the time I sell everything in this home. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into this remodel and see how this turns out. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and have my little $10,000 budget, turn my cheat on money. If you play on PlayStation, you know the cheat thing is money and then whatever the budget is. So we got money and then 10000 And the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do now is probably go ahead and remove all this landscaping. All right, so after removing all that landscaping, I've been thinking of some little ideas of what I want to do, excuse me, what I want to do with the outside. I'm thinking about um, using the same siding again, but a different color, maybe like a grayish. I'm not going to do white. I feel like white is kind of ugly and I might do some stone or some brick here and there on the front and let's just go ahead and change that out now. Okay. So we'll paint that that dark color. This is all about saving money. So what we about to do now is just go ahead and first off, um, probably remove this front porch because I definitely don't like the way this is set up what I'll do is I'll just rearrange the way it's set up uh, remove that red line so first thing you want to do is go ahead and put some new fencing on this and I want to make this home look nice so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do what a, I'm gonna do some real nice little touches to it but not too much because I still got to be able to stay under this $10,000 budget, which is going to be kind of hard for me to do because I usually don't like doing like little budgets like that. I like doing maybe $50,000, $60,000 home. So try to stay under that budget. But if not, well, it's not if, uh, if not, because I only got $10,000 in the thing. And I'm not going to add no more money. So I feel like the budget is going to go up once I start selling things on the inside of this house in this railing we need a railing we're gonna use the same rail as the fencing all right so we got a little nice little deck there now and with the little floor the little thing right here i'm not sure if we're gonna keep this and i'm definitely gonna get a new door so we got 205 off of that so i'm gonna try to get a door that's like around that price somewhere up in there um let's see all right, so this door right here, this is the door that I want to go with. Uh, did I turn BB to move objects on? I'm not sure. Okay, now it's on. All right, so that's the door I want to go with. And with these windows, I'm just going to go ahead and paint these black and white. I'm not going to change these out. I feel like these are decent windows. And plus, this is a build where we trying to stay. This is a remodel where we trying to stay under 10,000. So what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to just paint these. Keep the same little window design. Not about to do too much um if i had more of a budget i would definitely try to reshape this house a lot because i kind of hate the shape of how they got things laid out like this roofing i feel like this horrible roofing right here what we will do here is take one of these put this oh and should we make that over it like that and then pull it to the back Okay, see that makes it look a lot better by doing simple things like that. And that didn't even cost nothing. So you guys can see doing that, that made it look way better. So next thing I want to do is add some roof trimming. Okay, the roof trimming is going to be free. So like things like that makes this way better. So we got free little roof trimming. I don't know if I want to do this little. We're not going to do that yet. I'm going to hold off on that. And then if I see... I don't like the way something looks or I need to break off the colors when I use the brick or the um, stone on it then I use that but for now we are just gonna leave it the way it is we're gonna paint it black and I think I had some more windows I need to yep these windows over here okay so we're gonna do is I don't know if I need to add any more windows yet so 
I'm gonna just figure that out once I get in the inside doing the floor plan. I'm not gonna change up the floor plan too much. Like if I can need to open up a wall or something, I'll probably do that. But I'm not really gonna do too much on the inside. And I feel like that door goes perfect with everything. And with this, I'm just gonna go with a concrete look. Y'all know how like the front porch, some front porches got the little concrete look. I think I wanna go with that. I feel like that looks cleaner and I don't have to try to match the colors up with anything. So I'm gonna go with that. And then the siding, the siding is probably of course gonna be free because of it's the same siding or they might try to charge me, I'm not sure. Right, so since we going with the black and white windows, should we go? See, the siding will be free, okay. Okay, so we'll go with the gray and the white, the real light gray and then the white. The white and black windows. I feel like this looks way better already. Just by doing this little bit. Let's paint that. Paint this side and I'm trying to think of what places I want to use the stone at. Um, I was thinking using it on this, but I'm not sure. If I even decide to use the stone or the brick, I'm not sure. This is usually my go-to colors right here. If I use that that light side, and I usually use this. What if we do it like this? And just use the stone on that part of the house and let that be that and not do too much we just do it like that and we might want to add one of these windows up here should we add this window up here i don't know is that too much or y'all comment and let me know what y'all think I'm trying to think of should i use more of this stone okay i'm definitely not gonna put that there because that's very much ugly but where else should we put the stone at should i do it back here I think I'm going to just leave it there. I feel like that looks nice. Just having it in that one little spot. It's not too much. But yeah, I'm going to just do it like that. Alright, so moving on from that. We did the, we did that, we did that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is. We're going to leave this little trash can here. What I'm going to do is add some little grass. I'm not going to do too much landscaping right now. I'm probably just going to add the grass. And maybe add a little thing from the porch. But for now, I'm not about to do too much landscaping. Okay, this landscaping getting expensive. I just noticed that. I did not notice how much this was costing. Okay, we got to do this, Lord. We got to do this in a little shape so we can get this. Oh, whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, come on. Because in there, I'm going to just spray in there. I'm going to just use the little spray feature in there. I'm not going to do the little... Um, thing in there I'm not gonna do um I'm not gonna do like grass or anything in there I'm gonna just use the little spray feature Sims got okay so we gotta go in with this like this all right now we good on that we just want to get this covered up a little bit to get this look ah oh, come on okay I think we got it all right pull that back out full oh no, no no okay like that all right so we're not gonna do too much with that now let's just add some little stone or maybe we use stone here i feel like this is nice right here should we just run that up on the front porch too like that yeah i feel like that looks nice all right We'll do that like that. And then later on, I'll probably come back and add a little lighting and stuff here. But let's move on into the interior. We got most of the exterior done. All right, so for the interior, I'm thinking about just going ahead and sweeping all this stuff out. I'm not going to use probably none of this furniture. I'm not going to decorate right now anyways. This video right here is just me doing the the little house, doing the, um, the floors, the paint, all that, and the kitchen, the bathrooms. So what I'm about to do is, what I see is we got one, one bathroom one two okay so we got two bedrooms one bathroom um a nice big dining room nice big living room and we just got a little area over there so right here i was thinking about opening up this wall but i feel like then i'll have it'll be just be too open in here so i'm gonna probably leave this wall here and make this a nice little area like how they got it and i might keep that table though i like that table 
I like this little rug. I might keep that. Saving a little bit of money. I might keep all these little rugs except for this one. But let me just go ahead and sweep everything out of here. Alright you guys, so after removing everything out of here, basically I just left the kitchen because I like to keep the kitchen so I can look at the layout and get a little design, my own little design going. So what I'm thinking about here is definitely removing this little wall right here. And we're going to square this off. We're going to probably run the island out this way like this. So we'll do, we'll probably do, I'm trying to think. Okay, so we can keep the stove here. All right, I'm trying to think because we're going to run the island out. Or maybe we run a kitchen like this and then put an island in the middle. We'll figure it out. Well, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it like that. Okay, so run the kitchen up this way like that and then island here. And then on this back wall, I don't know, we may put something here. I'm not sure a little table or something but let's just go ahead and remove all the stuff out this kitchen since I already got the idea and start building our kitchen we got everything out that kitchen but what I'm really thinking is first off we need to go ahead and paint in here and add the new floors in and I got to get some lights in these rooms that has no lighting and I'm trying to think do I want to run carpet in the rooms or should I just run the hardwood floors or whatever throughout the whole house I don't know I kind of like to keep the house with the flow of the same colors and everything I don't like doing all the different little paints and stuff this is my paint that I use on most of my modern houses so I'm not going to use that in here but what I am going to use is my favorite paint um my favorite what is it called swatch I'm going to use that in here and in this little area over here I'm going to use something like this like I want to make it look different so in this little area right here, when you walk in, you're going to get that little look right there with this little table. Hopefully this table, I can get a nice color in it. Ah, uh, it's the legs throwing it off. Okay. Yeah, if those legs were a different color, this would have definitely been a nice, that was a neck. But if those legs were a different color, that definitely would have been a nice little table to put there. For now, I'm going to just paint every room the same color. And then once I get to that room, then I'll start thinking it. I'll start changing up the colors. All right, so I figured out which floors I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with these floors right here. And for now, I'm gonna just put this all through the whole house. And then once I, like I said, once I get to that room, then I'm gonna start switching things up. Oh my God, this net is annoying. All right, so first thing, the kitchen. In this kitchen, I definitely wanna put some tile floors, but I don't know which ones. Maybe something like that. Then for the cabinet, something like this. I really love these cabinets right here. So yeah, y'all definitely will see me using these cabinets in lots of builds. All right, so that's the little layout for that. And then we're gonna try to place a little island in here. Alright, so comment and let me know what y'all think of this kitchen so far. Um, we're gonna put the stove right here. Alright, so we decided to go with this stove. Oh my god, why did I just place that inside the wall? Okay, the stove there, refrigerator here. Let's go with this refrigerator right here. Sink here with the refrigerator. I don't know where the sink. We're gonna go with my go to sink. And I'm um, trying to think of the upper cabinets. What I wanna do, how I wanna do this. Um, should we do. Alright, you guys, so I didn't do no talking in this clip. I was just really trying to get my design together, but I just went with like a normal design for the upper cabinets. So yeah. All right, guys. So this is our kitchen. I know you guys seen a little skit there because I didn't want to. I was trying to focus and think of what I want to do in this kitchen, and I didn't want to just have y'all sitting there list just looking at me. So this is what I think I'm gonna go with for the kitchen. I'm not sure. I'm thinking about changing this backsplash. I'm kind of tired of using this backsplash right here, but I feel like this is more of an appropriate backsplash backsplash for this kitchen. Y'all let me know. Y'all like the first one better or do y'all like this backsplash better? It's a little, it's a lot of white going on in here, but I feel like this looks pretty nice for the kitchen. So we got our little refrigerator sink, 
and our stove i'm trying to think of a stove vent to use i don't have that many so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with that i'm gonna just go ahead and add some little bar stools now because without bar stools they look a little funny um okay i thought that would have matched better with the color I know those colors aren't the same, but mm. okay, that's a lot closer. I feel like that's a lot closer. I'm not sure. Okay, maybe we just go with the white. Sad to say. Okay, so that's our kitchen so far. Y'all comment, let me know what y'all think of that and on to the living room okay so in this living room i'm thinking about doing a nice little fireplace um maybe we'll break this off from the dining room i know i was saying i wanted to keep the open concept look but i feel like um closing that off will make this look way better so we'll do that there and then build it i don't want it closed off all the way so what i'll do is do this so you can still enter there. Enter from here, but it will just be closed off a little bit. Just put it like that. And we'll close that. Well, we're not even gonna close this dining room all the way up. We're just gonna build little walls. So you know, it's not open, but it's not closed. So like that. I like the way that look. Trying to think of more I need anything else I need to do okay so with this with this fireplace I'm trying to think of a little design texture I want to go with it do I want to go brick do I want to go all right guys so I think I'm gonna decide to go with this one I feel like this is a nice little brick to go on that then as you guys know I usually use this little window let me show you guys the window that I always go with if you haven't watched any of my other videos this is the little window I like to go with on my fireplaces just to make it look realistic. And a more little modern style fireplace, that's the little window I go with. Um, when I get into decorating in this house, I will be making this fireplace look more realistic. But for now, we're just gonna do that because of time. Y'all comment and let me know what y'all think of my layout so far. I really think this is a dope layout so far. Uh, next thing we want to do is move on into the bathroom because within the bedrooms only thing i really got to do is add the carpet if i'm gonna go with carpet i'm not sure yet so the next thing let's just go ahead to this little hallway um i'm thinking we're just gonna leave this little hallway closed up i don't want like i said before i don't want too much of an open concept so i'm gonna just leave that the way it is let's go into this hallway and remove these doors these doors are very ugly for this house, I'm gonna just say like that. For this house, these doors are they don't fit, but for any of your builds, it might fit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with these doors right here. Wait, did I click on the right doors? Okay. So these doors right here, I like the whoa, what? Okay, I don't know what just happened there. Alright, so we're gonna go with these doors. And this bathroom, this bathroom is set up perfect way. This is a two by three and or a two by four. This is a two by three. This is definitely a two by three. Okay, so it's set up perfect way for me. So what I'm about to do is do what I always do. And this is my favorite bill hack right here. You guys about to see it. A little sink. And no, this is not well you can I can make this functional. I definitely can make this functional. You guys comment and let me know you do you guys want to see me make this functional when I actually decorate this house and I will but for now this is a non-functional bill hack <laughs> but it's my favorite bill hack and it is ways that you can make this functional so yeah if you guys ever want to try this you can make this functional all you got to do is add a basement and raise everything up through the basement and this will definitely be a functional bill hack but I don't raise it up through the basement. I usually just do it like this. So we're going to use this sink and let's find the perfect mirror. And this is the mirror I'm going to go with right here. This is my go-to mirror. I always use this mirror on most of my bills. So this is the mirror I'm going to go with 
for this one and I'm gonna just make sure it comes down to the edge so I always add a second one just to make sure we hit that edge oh my god I hate doing this in small spaces okay all right so you always want to make sure that I just hit that edge a little bit okay now we can go ahead and add our toilet I'm definitely gonna add, change these floors in here um let's go ahead and add our toilet though I'm not gonna go with nothing too modern I'm gonna just go with a normal toilet something like this and free placement is obviously still on and we're gonna do the tub shower combo um I'm gonna just go with this one And there goes our shower tub combo. Now let's add some floors, some different floors, I should, I should say. Mm, do we go with the ones that we got in the kitchen? Or is that too much? Or should we go with something like that? I feel like that makes it look nice. And over the toilet, I'm gonna go with this just to make it look nice in here. I'm gonna go with this little what would you call this medicine cabinet and put this right here and that is our bathroom mind you I did say that that sink can be made functional so if you guys want me to do that in the video where I um decorate this house you guys comment let me know um that is the only bathroom in the house <laughs> so I made it look nice now on to the bedrooms um these bedrooms this is going to be very simple <laughs> excuse me what i'm gonna do in these bedrooms is basically first thing i want to do is i know these windows might look good on the outside like that but on the inside i really hate the way that looks so we're gonna just lower these windows down um this right here i'm guessing is the master so what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna add a little accent wall to the back so for the accent wall, well, I'm gonna go with this one right here. I feel like this looks nice and it kind of plays with the floor a little bit. So that's the accent wall we're gonna go with for right here. And I'm gonna add some little lights to it. I feel like adding a little bit of nice light fixtures to it, it'll make it look. Ooh, that kind of look good. Should we go with the dark, the white? I'm not sure that looks good that color right there i like the way that color looks because that color that color and then the little um accent wall it kind of blends with the floor so i definitely like the way that looks uh i don't know we're gonna go with that we're gonna go with that for now and if y'all say in the comments when i decorate if y'all want me to change it then i will definitely change it uh, the kids room i'm trying to think i want to do this room a different color um Let's just make this room. So this is only a two bedroom. Let's say if they got a boy and a girl. So what I'm gonna do is half the room, this part, this side of the room pink, and then the other side blue. That's what we gonna do. Cause they'll have twin size beds and in the middle we'll leave the white color. And then on this side we'll just do the blue. Like that. I feel like, oh that looks nice. It's, yeah, I feel like that looks very nice. So y'all comment and let me know what y'all think of that. Half of the room blue, half of the room pink. And in the middle, we got the little white stripe. Just to, you know, set everything off. I'm trying to think of more things we could do without having to decorate. I don't know. I'm not sure. And this build right here, this was just like one of my little slight builds. And now looking at this, I'm probably going to change this from this brick to that. Should we paint the fireplace that same color oh okay i like that but i think we should go with the white on the fireplace or maybe the gray now nah, we got too much white and gray we're just we're gonna make this match the master, master, master bedroom but comment in the comment section right now and let me know do y'all like that or not and if not in the next video when i decorate this house i will be changing that and we just gonna raise that little platform up. We're gonna fix this so it don't look like that. And in the background of this, um, trying to think of what to put in the background. Maybe something like this. Give it that old rustic look a little bit. 
like that. I don't know. Y'all comment. Let me know. And I was thinking about doing the little thing where I put. Let me show y'all. Okay, I definitely will change the color of these cabinets. I'm not sure which color. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay, this is definitely this build is definitely turned out to be like one of my favorite remodels so far. Um, maybe we go with the brown. Ooh, that looks nice. Okay. All right. This is definitely like one of my top 10 remodels so far. But I like the way that looks. I'm trying to think that dining room. The dining room is like the only room that's whoa, what happened to the kitchen to the to the backsplash? Let's fix that real quick and then I'm about to be closing this video out because I basically did everything in this video so far that I wanted to do. Um I just feel like the dining room is the only room that looks plain. I don't know if I should add a different swatch to it or should I um or should I just leave it the way it is I'm not sure I don't know but I definitely love the way this remodel is turning out y'all remember what this looked like before um base game started home okay I need to go ahead and just save this real quick so I don't lose it because I always do that so we got it saved now let's just Hmm. trying to think what to do with this dining room like it just looks plain i want to add some different color into it maybe we add like a brown color brown squash swatch like that maybe i don't know but y'all comment and let me know what y'all think of this build so far i really love the way this turned out Mainly everything in this home is functional except for that sink and like I told y'all before you can't make that functional and in the next video if y'all comment and say I like the way this look I probably will make that functional but um yeah that's basically it for this video y'all comment let me know what y'all think of this house build and yeah I'm gonna get at you guys in the next one and you guys I forgot to mention that we did stay under the budget I wasn't even paying that no attention I really forgot all about the budget we stayed under the budget we got five thousand three hundred and seventy eight dollars left and that could basically to be for real decorate this whole house i think but you guys comment and let me know what y'all think of this build like the video share the video and just let me know what y'all think about these colors like i said before tell me do you think i should keep this little the little light in the master bedroom do you think i should keep the little um gold things on it little gold light fixtures and in that bathroom do y'all want me to make that sink functional and what was the other one? Oh, in the dining room do you guys think i should change that color back to the white or should i leave it that brown or should i just change it to a different color or use an accent wall in there and let me know how y'all feel about that fireplace i really feel like that's a fire fireplace and you can't make that like a functional fireplace i can add a little campfire in there i just gotta remove the back wall but yeah, this video is over wood, and I am finally out. Peace.